What's up guys, I'm Arsene from rossmartech.com and this is another tutorial in Unix shell scripting. Now in this class I'm going to talk about some simple input and output, so let's get started. Let's first launch the text editor, which is vim. We're going to hit space, give our text file a name. I'm going to call mine test5, right? Then we're going to make sure we use the .sh extension, so we hit enter. Now the text editor is launched, we're going to make sure we type in I to bring us in insert mode. While insert mode, we can start typing away. So very important, in the beginning of every shell script program, we have to make sure we have this group of characters in the top, the hashtag symbol, the exclamation point, forward slash B-I-N, forward slash S-H, then we can hit enter, typing clear, right? Now we can hit enter a couple times and start coding. Now let's talk about output first. We've learned how to output stuff on the screen before. We've used the echo command, which prints stuff on the screen, right? So let's start with echo. So there are different variations of echo. You can type in echo, hit space, use double quotations, and write a message on the screen. So we could write whatever you want on the screen. I'm gonna type in hello world, right? And we have to end it with a double quotation, and that should print hello world on the screen. So let's test it out. I'm gonna first hit escape to bring us out of insert mode. We gotta type in colon wq for write and quit. Hit enter. Since this is a new file, we gotta give this new file permissions to do that. We're gonna type in chmod. Hit space. Type in the file name, which is test five dot s. I'm sorry. We have to type in chmod. Hit space. Type in plus uh, x. Hit space again. Lowercase x. Hit space again. Our file name, which is test. 5.sh, then we hit enter. Now we gave our new file permission. Now let's launch the program. To do that, we're going to type in dot forward slash the file name, which is test 5.sh. Hit enter. Now it worked. It printed out hello world. All right, guys, let me show you another way we can use echo. Let's type in vim to bring us back to the text editor. Type in our file name, which is test 5.sh. Right? We can hit enter. Now let's show you guys a different variation of echo. Let's delete this completely. We just start off by declaring a variable. I'm gonna name my variable red, right? I'm gonna make this equal to, I'm gonna use a, a double quote because it's gonna be a string. Let's make it to equal to string hello world, right? End it with a double quotation. Now uh, let's echo this string on the screen. So we're gonna type an echo, hit space, we have to type in the variable name, but before we type in the variable name, we have to make sure we use this money slash dollar symbol, then the variable name, which is red, right? Whenever invoking a variable, whenever we're using the variable, the variable has to have this dollar symbol slash money symbol in front of it. The only time we, we don't use that money slash dollar symbol in front of it is when we're declaring the variable like this here. But every, every time we're invoking it, it has to have that money slash dollar symbol in front of it. All right, so let's hit escape to bring us out of insert mode. We're gonna type in colon wq for write and quit, hit enter. Now let's launch the program. We're gonna type dot forward slash the file name test 5.sh to launch the program. Hit enter and it printed out hello world again. All right guys, so let's now talk about read. Let's talk about how we can read characters from the keyboard. Now let's launch the editor again, hit space, test 5.sh, enter. Let's type in i to bring us in insert mode now. Let's delete all this. Now, to read characters from the keyboard or from a user, there is the read command. This read command will automatically prompt the user to input either a string, one character, whatever they want to type. And after they type whatever they're typing, they're going to hit enter and uh, it gets stored in a variable. So we have to give it a variable a name. We have to make a new variable. So I'm gonna call mine, let's make it red. So every time we use this red, read, I'm sorry, every time we use this read command, we have to hit space and give this read command a variable. And we gotta name it whatever we want. I name mine red. So user is prompt to enter something, right? They enter something, they hit enter. Then it gets stored in the variable next to the read command here. So now we, we let's echo this variable on the screen. So let's type in echo, hit space, then we're going to type in the variable name. But again, before we type in the variable name, since we're invoking this variable, we have to make sure we use this dollar symbol slash money symbol, the variable name. Now, again, it's going to 
prompt the user to enter something on the screen. Users can enter something on the screen. They can hit enter. Whatever they entered on the screen is going to get saved to this variable next to it. Now we're, we're just reprinting that variable back to the user. So let's hit escape. All right, let's hit escape to bring us out of insert mode. Type in colon wq for write and quit, hit enter. Type dot forward slash the file name dot sh to launch the program. Now we're being prompt to enter something on the screen. So I'm gonna write, this is a test, right? And then after we finished entering wherever we want to enter, we have to type in enter. The contents get stored in that variable. Then we use that echo command to echo on this back to the user. So again, so that's why you printed it to this is the test because we use that echo command, right? So let, let me show you guys a neat trick or a neat way we can use read and write. So let's go back to BIM, hit space, our file name, which is test5.sh, hit enter. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a neat little program. Let's first type in I to bring us in insert mode. There are a lot of neat things you can do, but this is like the start. All right, let's first start off by uh, writing a message to a user when the, when the program first starts. So to that, we're gonna use echo, hit space, use double quotations again. Let's write, uh, let's write this, enter a number, All right? hit space a couple of times and ended with a double quotation. So when the program starts, enter a number is going to print on the screen. Now let's hit enter, hit enter, I'm hit enter a couple of times. Now let's use the read command. Now the read command again is going to prompt the user to enter a character or characters. The user is going to enter something, press enter, and it's going to be stored in a variable next to the read command. We, we can name the variable whatever we want. I'll name mine green. So the contents of the input, again, are going to be stored in this variable. All right, let's write another message to the user after they entered their character or characters. And then we're going to type in echo, hit space. I'm going to use the double quotation. I'm going to type in your number is, hit space a couple of times. Again, you guys got to remember, space is an actual character. So if you, if you guys don't want like the results to be right next to the, to the text, and you, you, got, you should hit space a couple of times in the string. And uh, when the program prints, it'll print with that space because space is a character too. You got to remember that. We can end this string with a double quotation. So now it's going to print after they enter their character, your number is. Now we're going to echo their number back to them. We're going to echo the variable green. Now it's going to echo the results back to them. Okay. So now let's, let's launch the program dot forward slash test the file name, which is test5.sh. We're going to hit enter. All right, the program started and it printed a message to the user. It printed enter a number. Now under it, we're being prompt to enter a number because we use the read command. Now let's, I'm gonna enter, let's say number five. I'm gonna enter number five. Sorry, I'm gonna enter number five, right? I'm gonna hit enter. And after the, after the, I entered it, it stored it in a variable, which I named green. Uh, then under that, I typed in another echo message. I wrote your number is. Then under that, I, I, I used another echo command and I, and I, I echoed the, the variable that had stored the contents of the input and it printed it back to the user. So that's, that's pretty cool, right? All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com and thanks for watching.